Hi guys and welcome back to your third part of a form book in C sharp. So in this part we're going to implement the form add content. But before we do this, we have to implement our um, very first form, which is form one. So we're going to want to double click on contacts. So basically, when we click on the contacts button, we want the uh, the view contact the view contacts form to appear. So we're we're gonna create an object from the view contacts class. So view contacts. I'm gonna name it view equals new view contacts. And then we want to hide this contact. Uh, I mean, we want to hide this form. So hide. And then we want to show the view contacts. So view the show dialog. And then show. So we're going to show this this form again when we close the view uh, the view contacts form, right? So let's go back to our design and double click on add contact, and we're gonna do the same. So add contact add equals new add contact add the show dialog. Oops, before this we have to hide our form. And after showing the add, we're gonna show our form again. Okay, so we are done now with our form one. So let's move on to add contact. Okay, so let's first of all um, implement the code for the picture box. So double click on the browse button. And we're going to type open file dialog. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it OD equal new open file dialog. OD dot file name equals empty string. OD dot filter. We're gonna add a filter for the images uh, JPEG and PNG. So we're gonna type images right and then we're gonna add a pipe then asterisk dot jpeg semicolon asterisk dot jpeg and then semicolon asterisk dot png okay and then we're gonna type if od dot show dialog equals equals dialog result dot okay so we have chosen a, a picture so what we're gonna do is just load this picture in our picture box so picture box one do, do load and then we're gonna give it the file name which is od dot file name okay so that's it for loading the image so now we want to implement the add contact which is going to take the info from our form and just put it in our database right but before doing this we have to get something that is called the connection string which is basically uh, a string indicating some parameters uh, for the connection with our Microsoft SQL server so in order to do this, first of all, we're going to have to go to our database that we have created before and we're going to right click here and go to the properties. And then we're going to go to view connection properties. And then in the server name, we're going to want to copy this because we're going to need it. Uh, let's close all of this go back to our visual studio go to the server explorer tab and in the data connections we're going to right click on it and add a connection in the server name we're going to paste the same server name that we have copied from our uh, microsoft sql server then we're going to move on to selecting the database so we're selecting our database which is phone book we want to test the connection so that everything is successful Okay, let's press on OK. All right, so now we're moving to the properties tab, 
and in the connection string we want to copy this connection string because we're needing it okay so let's double click on the add contact and before writing anything we have to be using system dot data dot sql client and just before our function we're gonna create an sql connection right so private sql connection and let's name it con equals new sql connection and then we're gonna provide our connection string that we have just obtained so I'm gonna paste it here the the backslash um, is analyzed here as a special character so we're gonna escape it by typing another slash and that's it so this is our connection string and make sure that you memorize this because we're gonna need it in the other tutorials as well so without further ado let's um, get into the adding part so we're gonna now open the connection so con open and then we're gonna create an SQL command so SQL command I'm gonna name it command is equal to con dot create command the first thing that we're gonna want to do is just add some parameters to our um, command that we're gonna use in our SQL query. So, command dot parameters dot add with value. So we're gonna name this photo. So this is for our photo, okay? And here we're gonna type new image converter dot convert to and then we provide our image so picture box one dot image and then type of byte array so basically what this does is that it converts our image to an array of bytes and basically that array of bytes is stored in our database as the image okay so this is for the photo command dot parameters dot add with value at first name so first name is in text box one dot text and I'm gonna copy this So the last name, oops, last name is in text box two to text, and the mobile is in text box three to text, and the notes are in text box four to text. Okay, so we're done with our parameters. Let's type our um, query. So command dot command text is equal to and then we're going to type our query insert into contact which is our table first name last name these are the columns basically mobile notes photo and in the same orders we're going to insert our values which are at first name, at last name, at mobile, at notes, and at photo. All right. So we now want to, ex to execute our query. So how to do that? Command dot execute non query. So basically, this function returns an integer. Okay. So if this integer is greater than zero, then we'll have successfully inserted our um, our contact in the database. Else, then we have failed to do this. So I'm gonna do this in the 
if condition so if command of execute non query is greater than zero then all good right so we want to show in message so message box dot show contact was added and then we just want to close our um, for so close all right but before closing the for we have to close the connection so con dot close else then we have a problem so message box dot show contact wait let's make it unable to add contact right and also we're gonna close the connection contact close and that's it guys for this tutorial so catch you in the next one